a lot of a lot has been said about uh, all kinds of ridiculous statements that have been made about science. I'm not going to focus on that. Um, although I think uh, the one that is missed about how the cow exhales oxygen and uh, how uh, you know uh, it absorbs radiation as well. So uh, there's a lot many things that cows can do that you know we didn't know about. But uh, the point is that you know people uh, holding positions of responsibility. <laughs> Uh, come and make these statements the the question to ask is why do they think that they can get away with it why is it that they think that they can come and make these statements and it is okay why is it that there is no deterrent and that brings us to the point about the fa the fact that there is something that i would call everyday obscurantism it is there all around us we see it we make jokes about uh, Uh, some of these most very extremely ridiculous statements we make memes and pass them around on uh, social media uh, but we very often let go the of the obscurantism that we see around us uh, on, on a daily basis uh jab bhi pitaji mata pita bolte hain bacche ko ki surya grahan hai bahar mat jao ghar se ghar se bahar mat niklo ye hamare aaju baaju bahut bahut dekha hoga sabne dekha hoga aajkal घर बांधना है घर खरीदना है घर किराए पे लेना है तो वास्तु देखी जाती है ये भी देखा होगा सबने आजू बाजू हॉरोस्कोप आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नव इट इज आई टीच इन एन इंस्टीट्यूट एंड यू ओवर हर ओवर हर स्टूडेंट्स टॉकिंग अबाउट यू नो स्पेशली इन द फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग इच अदर एंड नव इट इज पार्ट ऑफ द इंट्रोडक्शन इज हाई एंड सो एंड सो एंड बाई द वे आई एम सेजिटेरियन सो हॉरोस्कोप इज बिकम एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट दिस इज ऑब्सक्यूर एंटिज्म एंड वी डोंट कॉल इट आउट on a daily basis there is also something a tad lower maybe a bit lower than this as well more personal it all parades around as personal choice also uh, wearing a white thread around your torso it's personal choice but that is very much part of what we see around us uh, you have uh, for example all kinds of elaborate uh, weddings filled with rituals to the brim you know nowadays it's become even more and uh, in uh, cities like mumbai and pune there is this new trend uh, that you have full, full the full uh, wedding and uh, all of the rituals in it however the the what are the mangalashtaka they are they are basically recited by women who are brought in from gnan prabodhini or some place like that no so it is progressive obscurantism as well that is uh, all around us so Uh, so it is, uh, you know, you have all of this around you, and we don't question it. We don't. We let it go. And sometimes it is, uh, you know, I, I don't believe in it, but if my mother or father wants me to do it, we have to do it. I mean, I don't believe in it, but you know, it will hurt my parents if I don't do this. And this is all there, all the time around us, and it provides the grounds for all kinds of ridiculous statements made on science uh, that. suddenly when they when they when they hit us in the face we wonder how is it that he can say this he can say this because all kinds of other things go around go, go on around you all the time anyway and we don't question them because also you know one of the things that we are scared of i think is questioning some of these things on a daily basis would require an uncompromising embracing of modernity and we are scared of doing this in this country because we are scared of rejecting the past you know there is a strange reverence to the past that we have we are not quite sure we don't want to let go of it completely it exists in extreme proportions in people like our prime minister uh, you know who glorify it uh, uh, to all kinds of you know pushpak vimana etc all of it is part of it uh, also you know things like uh, uh, on climate change uh, i don't know if you have heard but he's made a statement saying climate change climate change is not actually happening it is simply a state of mind you know we are not actually actually it is not becoming warmer but uh, you know we have just become less tolerant so uh, so our ancestors also faced climate variability however you know they managed it because they were much stronger they it exists this glorification this reverence of the past exists in extreme proportions and of course definitely the sang parivar but it exists all around us as well uh, you know all of us have मैं दिस अंकल वुड से अरे हमारे बाप दादा के जमाने में लोग ज्यादा साइंटिफिक थे तब पोल्यूशन कम था अब पोल्यूशन ज्यादा है तब कैंसर नहीं होता था अब कैंसर होता है लोगों को वहां पे तभी औरतें ज्यादा ज्यादा ताकतवर थी दस दस बच्चे होते थे फिर भी बीस लोगों का खाना एक दिन में बनाती थी लोगों के लिए बिना फ्रिज के बिना मिक्सर के बिना स्लाइस करके यू आई एम श्योर यू ऑल एट पीपल हुई सेट दिस एंड अफकोर्स बी 
you know, a lot of times they did go without pointing out that most probably a lot of our ancestors probably died at the age of 40, didn't live long enough to get cancer. And uh, not only that, the fact that this past, this very past, is full of, is ridden with caste, it is ridden with patriarchy, with extreme levels of scarcity, deprivation, inhumanity and exploitation. It is this same past. And we are unwilling to let go of it. And this is what provides the ground for this kind of, uh, you know, these, these kind of statements, this kind, this kind of attack that comes from Hindutva. We need, if we want to build a new society that is more equal, that is, that is, the, that, that in which there is no deprivation, in which everybody, uh, you know, has a certain level of well-being, and we, we want to build this modern society, then we have to reject this unseemly past. If we stop to question, as science asks, asks us to, then we will reject this unseemly past. And this is, I think, the root, at the, at the root of this RSS attack on Hindutva. You know, they are not really, their, their final target is not really technology. You know, they, after all, they, they are very much, they like the bomb very much. Uh, they might say, for example, that uh, Newton mat padhao school mein, kyunki Newton foreigner tha. O bachchon ko Newton nahi padhaenge. Lekin, Ahmedabad se Delhi plane mein baith ke jate hai. So it's not as if, you know, they reject technology. You know, this, that, that attack on the scientific method is necessary for them because what they really want to attack is a scientific study of society. Because the minute you have a scientific study of society, you have questions that they don't want to face. Because what is, you know, everybody has defined science and uh, a very basic understanding that I have, science is much more, has been for, for many, many years, much more uh, than simply about observation and documentation of, of observation, you know. It is not simply enough to see how things appear, but also why they appear as they do. And the minute you ask the question of why things appear the way they do in the context of society, you know, you suddenly will have women, you know, questioning, oh, why is it that we should stay at home while the men go out and earn and study? You can no longer tell people that you are born poor because you are Kumari Kismat. You can no longer tell somebody that it is some past sins because of which you are born in a lower caste. You can no longer do this. And this attack on science, you should understand, is, uh, is, is meant to prevent a scientific study of society.